Hey, New Market, can you believe that we had the fewest number of sales in the month of August since 1997, yet we still managed to have the highest average sale price in over 16 months? I'm Darcy Toombs, broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker. And here's the top five things that you need to know about what happened in the August 2023 real estate market. Number one, the average sale price in August was 1,248,400, which represented an 18% increase year over year. In fact, it was the highest average sale price since April of 2022. Number two, with only 64 sales, it was the fewest number of sales for the month of August that we had on record dating back to 2011. So I dug a little deeper, and the last time that there was fewer than 64 sales in the month of August was way back in 1997. That year, there was 63 sales in the month of August, but it's important to note that the population of Newmarket at that time was only around 60,000. So we've now seen a 50% increase in the population, and we still have a record low number of sales. All right, number three, inventory is rising. Inventory at the end of August had 187 active listings, which is actually the highest it's been since September 2020. And at the time of this filming, September 14th, we have actually just crested over 200 active listings for the first time since that September 2020 date. Now, it should be noted that it's not unusual to have over 200 active listings in the month of August. In fact, in 2018, there was 387 active listings and 2019, 286. So as you can see, it's not unusual to see a higher number of active listings. It's just not something we've been used to recently. Number four, months of inventory was 2.92 for new market. Now just as a refresher for what months of inventory means, it means how long it's gonna to take to sell off all the active listings. So if there was 100 active listings and there was 100 sales in the month, the months of inventory would be one. If there was 100 active listings and 50 sales, the months of inventory would be two. August months of inventory of 2.92 was the highest MOI that we have seen since April 2020, which if we remember, that was kind of the, the month of nothingness in real estate because the pandemic had just really taken over. So excluding that month of April in 2020, we would have to go back all the way to February 2019 to see a higher MOI. But also something to keep in mind that at that time in February 2019, the average sale price in new market was around $790,000 and not 1.25 million. But to that point, I'm not trying to say prices are expected to go back down to 790,000. I'm really not seeing that happening in the short term. Now, as a side note, if we were to look back to the month of inventory from 2018 and 2019, when inventory was much higher, the MOI was 4.5 and 2.38 respectively, which is really not that far out of line from where today's numbers are but the prices are significantly different. As the average price in August 2018 was 775 and 799 in 2019. Now, just as a point of reference, here's some of the MOI around the region. Aurora sitting at 1.94, East Gwillimbury 5.53. We're really watching East Gwillimbury, so this number is quite high and we're starting to see a lot of new construction homes that were either tenanted or being sitting vacant coming to the market, which could affect how the resale market uh, reacts. Georgina, 3.39. Another number that we're watching, Georgina, you've been performing fairly well recently, but we're certainly keeping an eye on the active inventory. Whitchurch Stoville, 3.2. Bradford is a whopping 7.5. There was not many sales that happened in the month of August in Bradford, and inventory is starting to really increase there, so we're really keeping a close eye on Bradford. Um, so if you have any questions about what's going on there, DM us, we'd love to have a quick chat. And number five, there was only 24 sales that were either at or above the asking price in the month of August in Newmarket. This would still be a large number in an average year, but this is actually the fewest number of over asking sales that we've had all year and only represented 37% of all the sales for the month. If we were to compare that to the month of May this year, when 71% of all the sales were either at or above the asking price. So in closing, what does this all mean? Well, the market's shifting and it's shifting for the following reasons. Obviously, everyone knows that higher interest rates are causing a lot of problems for a lot of people. Higher carrying costs are putting a lot of extra burdens on people that they did not have a year and a half ago. And the looming thoughts of upcoming mortgage renewals may cause many to think about making a change sooner rather than later. 
As inventory increases, it's given buyers the opportunity to really negotiate price and terms a lot more than they could have a few months back. And the pre-construction market, which had lots of people put down deposits on upcoming new builds, is seeing a big shift as there's many investors or speculative investors trying to get out of the deal before they have to come up with the funds to close on the purchase. And speaking of assignments, in Newmarket, there's a few new developments that are underway and there's already speculative investors that are listing those properties for sale as assignment sales. And the last time I looked, it was around 18 active listings for assignment sales. That's not really a good sign for somebody looking to get out of these speculative investments. Now, as for interest rates, the Bank of Canada did hold their policy rate at 5% on September 6th, and it's expected to stay there for another three to six months, if not another six to nine months. Now, some economists are predicting that we could start to see interest rates start to decline in the second half of 2024. And if that happens, all I have to say is get ready because there's going to be a lot more buyers starting to come back into the real estate market. The government's trying to do everything it can to get the inflation rate to close to their target of 2%. There's a growing amount of pressure on homeowners with mortgages to see interest rates lower so they can stabilize their payments as well as the housing market in general. So when it does come time for homeowners to renew their mortgages, they're going to be able to afford their payments. Okay. And lastly, if you're thinking about selling next spring, you might wanna ask yourself these questions. Is it because you're hoping for more inventory to come or that you're hoping that prices might bounce back in your favor? <coughs> they're actually the highest they've been in 16 months. Or are you simply just looking to time your mortgage renewal? There's a lot of different answers for everyone's unique situation. Now we are expecting to see a larger amount of inventory hit the market, which will give buyers a bigger catalog to choose from when out shopping for their next home. And keep in mind, if we do see interest rates start to decline, we're gonna see a lot more buyers enter the market as we previously had said. This could result in strategically low listing prices, which will generate those bidding wars that we've been talking a lot about this year. 2023 is on track to have a record low number of sales, even fewer than 2018 and 2018 had the fewest number of sales in over 18 years. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how we close out the end of 2023. The takeaway is the next two weeks of the market will be really telling, especially to see how the market reacted to the interest rates holding at 5%. And hopeful buyers looking to see a variety of new listings that are coming to the market. Overall, these market conditions are sure to affect every demographic, every buyer, every seller very differently and we are here to help you every step of the way. It is important to be informed of the market so you can be ahead of the trends and make informed decisions rather than uncertain ones. When it comes to real estate, we want you to be 100% confident with the decisions you're making. If you have any questions about any of the information provided in this report, or if you'd like to set up a meeting with one of our team members to discuss your family's real estate needs, We'd be happy to offer you our guidance, expertise, and provide you with some of the best options to help you move forward. If you currently own a home and you wanna get an idea on what its current market value would be, we offer a complimentary and honest home evaluation so you can strategize your next move with realistic expectations. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.